Hey, welcome back to Mamie Math. Today we are looking at a pyramid and its surface area. And I've got a, gone over a couple videos that explain slant height and the different faces. So if you need to go back and watch those, you can. But this one is going to focus on how do you find the surface area. So what I have done is we've been looking at these different types of pyramids. And we're going to focus on this triangular pyramid for a minute. Okay, this triangular pyramid um, has got a triangular base and it's got three triangular sides. Well, if you take it and you draw it as what we call a net, it's basically taking that pyramid and folding it flat. You can see really surface area is just two dimensional. We're just length and width. So we're actually dealing with one, two, three, four isosceles triangles. So there's several ways to do this, but I'm just going to focus on um, one of the ways to do this one and then maybe we can look at a second way too. Okay, the first one is to look at the formula. We're going to do one half of the slant height times the perimeter and then we're going to add the base area. In this case our base is a triangle and we're going to add all that together. Okay, so slant height. In the last video I explained what slant height was but it is the distance from the apex down to the base of the triangle on these faces that actually stand up. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to figure out the slant height and then I'm going to take the perimeter and the perimeter I'm going to take is the perimeter of this base because this is my base because I would fold it up and all these three sides would connect up here at the top. Okay, so if this side is six, this side is six and my base is six, I'm dealing with an equilateral side. So it cuts it into a three and a three and then I can find this height or the slant height by using my 30, 60, 90 rules. Okay, my 30, 60, 90 rules say that if I know my short leg is X, then this long leg is X root 3. So if this side is 3, I know this hypotenuse or this longer leg is 3 root 3. If you don't know the 30, 60, 90 rules, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find that height. Okay, so I now have my slant height. So let's plug that in. I have one half. My slant height is 3 root 3, and then the perimeter of the base. I'm going to add this base up. Well, we know this side is 6 because we have equilateral triangles. So 6, 6, and 6, that's going to give us 18. So there we go. That gives me my lateral area. And what lateral area? It's the sum of these three faces that are the triangular faces in this pyramid. Okay, then I'm going to add my base area. Well, the base area in this case is exactly the same size as the other three. But if it wasn't, you would just use your triangle formula, which is one half base times height. Well, the base on this one, again, is the same one of these types of triangles. So it's six and the height is the height of this distance right here, right? Which is the same as this one. So that's another three root three. So let's plug that in, 3 root 3, and now let's just simplify everything, okay? So 3 times, and I'm going to take half of 18 because it's easy. Take half of 18, that's 9. So 3 times 9 is 27 root 3, plus over here, half of 6 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9 root 3. Now I have the same radical, so I can now add those together. 27 plus 9 gives me 36 root 3 and this is area so it's units squared and that's how I'd find that surface area. Okay let's do a second one. I won't go in quite as much detail but let's look at one that has a square base. Okay we're going to assume that these are equilateral so all sides are 4. That draw in my 30, 60, 90 that makes this 2. That makes this 2 root 3. So I can now plug in one half my slant height, which is two root three times my perimeter. Well, the, what's the perimeter of the base this time? My base is a square, so it's four, 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 and four, so it's 16. And then I'm gonna find the area of my base. Well, the base is a square, so the formula for the area of a square is side squared. Well, the side is four, so it's just 16. Now let's simplify. Half of 2, well those cancel, so over here I have 16 root 3 for the lateral area and then I'm going to add 16 
for my base. Now, unless you want to write a decimal, this is actually the answer. It's just 16 root 3 plus 16 square units. And if you want to change that to a decimal, you can. You just take the square root of 3 times 16 and then add another 16 to it. But there's your answer for the surface area of this square uh, pyramid. Hope this video was helpful on solving surface area.